Hello everyone, Glidermaran here. So today we're going to be kind of streamlining our while loops that we've gotten here. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're in our ultrasonic distance project that we worked on in the last episode. And we can see that we've got this if statement that we're checking every time that the while loop is run. Well, there's an optimization that we can do here. What we can do is we can move this checking line to see if it is down inside the check for if the while loop should continue. And then if it winds up being, let's just say that the button is down, then we can just quit out of the while loop and do all of our stopping or even another while loop that does something else down there. So we're going to leave the ultrasonic distance project alone for now and we're going to apply it to our project uh, slash project one and just use that as our testing. So in here we need to check and see if it is down. So we're going to do a call to the button class. So that's button with a capital V. We're going to press dot or period. And then this will give you uh, the different keys that are on the EV3, such as the down, the enter, the escape. As escape kind of makes a little bit more sense for quitting, we're going to use that. And then uh, there's going to be an is down and an is up. Um, what you can do is you can just use the is up here, and so that will say, okay, while the button is basically not pressed, then we're going to just continue to do whatever this says. If it is down, then we can go down here and say do pilot dot stop, you know, something simple like that. So that's just a quick little example of that. And I'm also going to change this just a second to teach you guys another little new well, I wouldn't call it new uh, thing. So we're going to go back to the is down. And so when that's down, it's going to allow the while loop to run. However, that's not quite what we want. So we're going to use what's called the not, which is just exclamation mark. So now the not will basically invert this uh, statement here saying, okay, if it is not down, then it will continue. And that's just a quick little example of how that works, where it inverts the Boolean expression there. So anyway, guys, that was just a quick little tutorial on the uh, not and the uh, little bit different way of handling the while loops. And uh, I would say that it is the recommended uh, thing to do instead of having an if statement also in the while loop checking that. And I'm just going to jump this back to is up, which is just, you know, a little bit quicker to write. And so it evaluates that. And then if everything inside these parentheses here to there is true, then it will loop. And then down here, when it hits this, it will automatically exit the program and return to the standard menu system. So, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!